So you think you figured it out? I think I figured it out. Yes, I think I have figured out how Ellen DeGeneres gets such a big return value-wise, money value-wise, on her Be Kind box. She finds a company that is expensive and is willing to shell out their product, at least for a temporary subscription to their product. Oh. So last quarter, it was a party planning service. And this quarter, it's a service that is run by AI. Now, I don't know. Maybe I live under a rock. I don't see any rocks up there. You know, I guess maybe I'm just not ready for AI to come in and take over my life. Let's see the product. Let's go. This is from Duckbill. And I've got my fingers over the QR code because I don't want my camera to do anything funky here with the phone. Good thick pad of sticky notes. And what you're supposed to do is write something down on the note that you want done and then take a photograph of it and then use the QR code to send it in to the company and they will do it for you. So, like I said, maybe I'm just not ready for AI to come in and take over my life. According to some of the things that I'm seeing in the magazine that comes with the book, and I also looked this company up online, it's supposed to further help you uh, get things done. Everyone fantasizes about having a personal assistant. So I looked up some of the things that they say they can do or that people have had the company do. Things like appointment booking, shopping, research. Oh, I see it. Find an affordable moving company. How to sell a car. How to renew a passport. I'll be honest, those are things that I would rather do on my own. And the cost for this, after you get through whatever $400 half price subscription they're going to give you, I would have to pay, or you would have to pay if you wanted to sign up for this, $100 a month. Google is free. There are lots of other apps out there that are free. Yeah. Are they as good as this? I don't know, because I don't use them. And who's to say that the company, like if I wanted to find how to sell my car or find an affordable moving company or find a good mechanic, who's to say that they haven't paid a fee to be on the duck bill list? Are they as good as they say? Or did they just pony up some money so they get referrals? I have no proof to that. I'm not willing to take a chance at setting up an account because I believe you have to put in your credit card. And I don't just hand out my credit card number to anybody. Me neither. So I don't know. What do y'all think on this one? Comment down below. We want to know. What do you think about this product? What do you think about AI in general? You know, I've heard of some people losing their jobs over AI coming in. So I'm not, I'm not fully on board the AI train. Next, we have a product from a company called Friendship. It is an item that is cruelty-free, organic, fair trade, plastic-free, and zero waste. It is made from wool, and I believe these sheep are from New Zealand. And the ladies that make this product are in Nepal. 
dryer vols. Yes, and they are unscented. Your allergies are happy about that. Definitely. They do say that you can add a few drops of essential oil to the items. And actually, you get three dryer balls. Two of them are white, and one of them has planet Earth. which we thought was kind of neat. And from what I understand, Ellen DeGeneres picked this item because Earth Day is coming up in the spring. So I'm excited for this. It has an $18 retail value. Yeah, and the, like I said, they're unscented, so they won't bother my allergies. If you as a consumer would prefer, like I said, it tells you how many drops to add of essential oil and then you can pick your own scent if you want a scent now that's a product i like me too next up is a plant-based protein powder these do seem to be the popular trend they're making the rounds willing to give it a try. I'm not saying I want a plant-based diet, but I'm willing to give it a try. And apparently it has a little extra fiber in it. And everyone needs a little extra fiber now and again. So it says that there's about 10 servings in this container, which is 16.2 ounces. And a serving size is two scoops. And what is in there? A little bit of iron, 35% iron, 40% protein, carbs, 5%, total fat, 4%, vegan, no sugar. It has stevia extract instead, gluten-free, and no artificial flavors. So this is by Vega. It says it gives you about 10 servings. This is creamy vanilla. And I believe the retail price, let's look real quick. I believe the retail price, $19.99. So glad to get it in a box. That way you can try it out and see if you like it. Yeah. Next up, we have an apron. And this is 20% cotton and 80% hemp. It has a $30 retail value. It's a fun little striped pattern with two pockets in the front. And then the inside or the underside is, has been treated so it's, I'm gonna say, leak proof. If you spill something on the front, it won't leak through because there's a barrier. And we're gonna scoot over a little bit I gave it a little modeling try. And like I said, this is a $30 item. And what else can I tell you? It is an exclusive to Ellen Shops. So you can find it only on her website shop. Pretty neat. And I'm thinking that I don't have the space for tabletop gardening, but my first thought when I saw it was not the kitchen, because you're not a big cook. My first thought was this would be a good gardening apron, especially with the backing so that if you get messy with the soil or the water or whatever, it's not going to get on your clothes. Happy to get this item. Yes. This next item came with three colored pencils. That's intriguing. Yeah, I was wondering what in the world is they sending us colored pencils for? And then we found out there's a coloring book. This is the Mindfulness Coloring Book. It is supposed to be anti-stress art therapy for busy people. It is by Emma Farrens. 
It's a smaller size, so you could take it with you wherever you might go that you might have time to color. And inside, I'm just going to flip through. It's got... Those are some cute designs in there. Yeah, I think this is kind of cute. Would I take it with me on a day-to-day -day basis? No, because anything I do is go out, get the errands done, come back home. Would this be something I might take on vacation? Yeah, I'm not opposed to coloring on vacation. I'm not opposed to sitting around the house and coloring either. <laughs> neat idea yes and that was ten dollars i think also included in this quarter's box was a reusable dish towel from sweet gum i got one in my winter box some people did not i guess there were some shipping delays so they sent everyone Another reusable dishcloth. This is from the company Sweet Gum Eco-Friendly Sponge Cloth. It's 100% biodegradable, 70% cellulose, 30% cotton, machine washable, bleach safe, air dry, lasts six to nine months, and then you can compost it. That's neat. So we are halfway through the box. I think my two favorites in the half of the box so far would be the coloring book and the dryer balls. I'm pleased that they are unscented. What did you see that you liked? Let us know in the comments down below. Nosy camels want to know. And what do you think about that AI thing? We're still scratching our heads over that one. Like I said, maybe I'm just too old to wrap my brain around the concept of AI. Who knows? Maybe AI is in the background of a lot of things that I use and I just don't know it. Anyway, moving along with this video. Up next is a $10 product from Earth Harbor. It is called Tidal Rose. And I have taken a sniff and I like what I sniff. It does have a nice rose scent. There are some other items in there, yet the rose is the predominant note in this product. It is a combination facial uh, toner and hydrator. Glad to get this one because Earth Harbor and I don't always get along. I like this one. And it says that it has, what does it have? I don't know. You've got the book. <laughs> the first rays of spring sunshine feel like a breath of fresh air. And that's exactly what Earth Harbor's Tidal Rose Crystal Hydration Toner feels like. It's refreshing revitalizing and rejuvenating three-in-one product acts as a natural toner hydration enhancer and makeup setter and is powered by nutrient dense seaweed infused with high vibration rose quartz rose water antioxidant rich white tea extract and beautifying persian lilac extract that does sound neat. I want to try it. Okay. We are excited for this one. Next up is a product from Crunchy Everlux. On camera, it's showing up a lot lighter than what it is in person in real life. This is a darker product than what I would use. So this one's going to wind up in the Find a Future Home box. But from what I understand, it is a lip crayon and it is made with wood. So you can sharpen it. Therefore, we're not putting more plastic out there in the environment. 
and it has a retail price of $28. Next up is a lollipop. And I'm tempted to eat it, but I think I have to share it with Anne. Yeah, they only gave us one, so I guess we're going to have to share. The neat thing, and I've got myself a little sticky note taped to the stick, which I hope does not interfere with the overall purpose of this. But from what I have read here in the little manual book, you enjoy your lollipop and then you plant the stick out in the soil and you get a flower. So let's read up on that just a little bit more. That was from Amborella Organics. It has a retail of $2.50. And apparently they are positively obsessed with the blooming lollipop. And so first you'll enjoy the wow-worthy botanical flavor of your blood orange and elderflower lollipop. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, that does sound intriguing. And then... Plant the seed-bearing stick horizontally in the soil and wait for elderflower magic to bloom. And last but not least, we're going to read up a little on the next two items and then we'll show them to you. This is from a company called Ethique, which means ethical in French, and Apparently, this brand goes out of its way to live up to the name in service to their mission to have smaller footprint and bigger impact. It utilizes home compostable packaging, so we're giving nutrients back to the soil. In other words, less plastic waste. This is for your hair. I like the cute little heart shapes. Oh, those are nice. And we have Pinkalicious, Tip to Toe, and The Guardian. And looking more closely at their itty bitty little print, Pinkalicious is solid shampoo for your hair. Tip to Toe is solid shampoo and shaving bar. And The Guardian is solid conditioner for dry to balanced hair. That's neat. Yeah, I've not had the best luck with shampoo in bar form, but I'm willing to give it another try. Yes, because this is a different company. Maybe it will work better. Maybe it will. And we have another package from this company. This is the Invigorating Body Trio. And we have Lime and Lemongrass, Lime and Ginger, and Rustic. Apparently Rustic is a deodorant. Lime and Ginger, that's the one in the middle, is a solid, solid body polish. And Lime and Lemongrass is Solid Cream Body Cleanser. So again, less waste going out into the environment. All the packaging is compostable. For the second half of the box, I would say my favorite items are the Earth Harbor product and the soaps. Those definitely all sound intriguing. What did you see that you might like? Leave us a comment down below because I'm the nosy camel. Inquiring cows want to know. So taking a quick look at the nitty gritty, it does come with a magazine that tells a little bit about each of the items in here. So I appreciate the fact that they take the time to print out, and this you know is on good quality paper. It's not just a scrap of paper. They take the time to print out information about each item that you get. So I definitely appreciate that. This is a quarterly box. 
The box is $54.99. There was no shipping this time. Tax was around $5. So all in, I spent $59.25, which for a quarterly box that gives me around 12 items, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, I would say that's on par with other lifestyle boxes. As we said earlier, we did kind of discover how they up their cost effectiveness of the box to pull people in. I'm not 100% sold on that AI product. I don't know. Maybe someone's going to have to explain that better to me. And the other thing about them that I don't know if I mentioned earlier, they'll get back to you in a day. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Those are things that I could do or would want to do myself. So I just don't get it. But we are happy to get some of the other items. There's a lot of neat things in this lifestyle box. Yes, lots of things. Some things I want to try too. Thank you for taking the time to watch today. Consider subscribing to our channel because you don't want to miss out what's going to come next. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all that fun stuff. And watch a video that's tough enough on the screen. Or check out our description box. There are kind of links and all kinds of fun stuff down there. We hope to see you again in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.